Long day lay me low Hello everybody, Jason Bascom here from Unhinged Entertainment, amateur comic book artist, professional illustrator, and uh, all around nice guy. Uh, gonna show you how I um, how I draw women, how I draw women. Now, yeah, it's how I do it. Uh, like I said, amateur comic. Uh, before we get started though, you know, hit like, share, subscribe. You know, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support uh, uh, you send my way. Um, working in Photoshop again is just a little little easier to show you and uh excuse the space heater noise uh so let's get into it uh i don't yammer on my and if you hear the desktop noise on course. okay so i created a created a new um document here and I'm already making mistakes all right so creating i'm going to add a new layer right here a little, a little layer. let's do this in case i didn't show you last time it's right down there right in there right in there is right here that one okay and now the dog's barking we're gonna we're gonna backspace everything because I didn't create the new layer ahead of time she probably hears or sees it being in a mole. alright so you'll hear the dog bark dogs bark it happens so anyway Women. All right, now you know you can. I can um. See, all right, that's the brush size we're working with. I'm gonna make that a little smaller. So you can start off, you know, traditional. Make a little traditional and lay out the the form. Now, if this were standard, super, now once again, amateur. I say amateur comic book artist because I've only really been drawing comic books professionally. And when I say professionally, indie comics uh, for uh, uh, about three years now. Uh, I'm not a professional comic book illustrator. I never worked for the big two. Uh, I was never published by Dark Horse or anything or Image. But uh, I have do a own book. But uh, uh, I've been drawing my whole life, though. But uh, anyway, so, you know, you could do the, the crosshairs as a, a standard comic book uh, or standard character, you know, format to lay it out. And obviously, with women, you're going to lay it out. You could do free flow. Um, now, with women, I like to do... Like here, you're gonna have the neck here, uh, clavicle. I like to do the pillow method. Pillow method works really well with where their body, you have their shoulders, and their body is pretty much like the shape of a pillow. Shape of a pillow. She's pretty broad shouldered. Let's cut her down. All right. Shape of a pillow. So it's kind of like a diamond or an hourglass, even. But in shape of a pillow. And there you go. So. And then, I'm not the best at drawing women. Like I'm not. I need practice. But hey, you know what? I'm 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 a rookie, and uh, this is kind of like beginner courses, and stuff like that. You know, if you haven't been drawing your whole life, uh, or even if you are, obviously, like I said, I'm not the best at drawing women. I've been drawing my whole life. But um, you know, some people are uh, better at some things. Now, you get the the underwear. Get the underwear going. Women have their hips usually lie shoulder length. Uh, that's usually where you want their hips to land. And then, you know, you get the, that area, groin area there. Women have thigh gaps. You know, or athletic women have thigh gaps. And there you go. You draw her arms. You know, be I'm a woman, girl. You'll be a woman soon. Okay, so you can do that. You can go that route. You know, you got your rib cage here. And the breasts are going to fall pretty much on the bottom portion of that rib cage area. And they have weight, so they're not going to be like circles. You're not going to draw circles. We're going to draw circle boobs. So, you know, you want them to be tear duct shaped. And they go usually about clavicle. And then you think of them as like a like bags hanging down like that. So. You know, and then you got your rib cage and stomach, which comes down. You got your abs. Right. I always suggest, you know, people look at uh, different styles and stuff like that. You know, Dan Plagle draws great women, uh, David Finch, Jim Lee, you know, um, stuff like that. So you can go that route with a, with a lady. With a lady. 
you know and you know with this this format here once again once you get the structures down you get the patterns going you can you can draw them in any any position you want you know pillow pillow and underwear hip shoulder so you can do it in any which way you want now like I said there's many different ways you can go about it uh, now I don't draw traditional I as you can see I can do it but uh, I don't like I don't really like to draw in a traditional format I like to push boundaries push limits so uh, you know I mean I still draw the head fairly now this is like a comic book woman this isn't gonna be like one of my weird you know drawing women thing so I still I kind of start out the same I, I draw the clavicles and draw the now with this you saw I didn't really put in the pillow shape and with women you kind of wanna with their shoulder hip ratio if, if one is slanted their shoulders are slanted one way the hips are gonna so if they would eventually cross in some way uh, it just gives them a little it's called a gothic sway there you go um, if you look at some uh, architecture and stuff like that uh, you'll see some really or even like uh, renaissance paintings you'll see some massive uh, gothic sway going on but um yeah so you know pillow shape still there but I still do the underdrawing. I still do the the, the, the the basic concepts. And I'm going with this pretty standard pose here. Uh, we're going to kick her leg out a little bit. Actually, you know what? That leg comes, comes down that way. This leg's going to shoot out. There you go. Because the hip is going to go that way. So the weight is on this leg here. This one's down. So... And she's got some sass to her. So she's got her hand on her hip. And other hand's gonna come down. We're gonna put her hand handy. Put it there. She's gonna hold a gun. There you go, she's got a gun. Alright. You're like, well Jason, that's that's pretty standard. It's pretty standard. Alright. Well, this is where I like to get a little embellished with it, you know. There's a put her eyes in. And, you know, it, 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 I deleted that crosshair thing just because I know where the, you know, everything still lines up. If you look, boop, boop. I don't realize I don't have my glasses on. Things are a little blurry. Okay, there we go. So, like, you know, her head's cocked. So, boop, 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 boop. They're still there. All those proportions are still there. You can put her ear in. I like to make big ears sometimes. Um, I like angles. Women usually have lots of curves. We're gonna give her some pretty basic hair. And then I like to weight out there, you know, get some weight in there. And the, and the, there you go, some gravity going on. And, and yeah, I guess this is a pretty standard woman. I mean, it's not the, I'm, like I said, I'm not the greatest when it comes to drawing women. Get her butt back there, butt area. Uh, I need a lot of practice still, but it's good to admit that. It's good to know that where you where your um, weaknesses are, because then you can practice. And it takes me a lot longer uh, to draw women than it does for me to draw men. I, I just I, as a guy, I you know I know the basic structure. I know how it feels uh, every day. So. Uh, usually women are better at drawing women and men are better at drawing men so like I'm laying in form uh, you know her hand is on her hip so you can look at a photo people's hands they rest differently so and sometimes I'll thin things up yeah 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 I'll thin up her because women aren't naturally built as big as men in the um, arm region, skinny her up there, hide those organs, and make sure she doesn't have any. Now, here, 
you have your shoulder right comes down there's your arm and here's your 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 pectoral area or her breast and it's going to curve up into the bicep area because whenever her arm comes up it's actually going to move the, the the breast up a little bit same thing with your pecs uh, and a man so it, it, it everything's connected you got to think in that regard the ratio of like eat from he, this to this what what happens if this gets stretched out this is going to get stretched out uh so on and so forth same thing with like like her her at her abs even like since it's curved you're going to get scrunches in here in her tummy there you go one side's going to be a little oh pardon me a chicken chicken green beans and let's pop her 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 booty out a little bit in that area her hip there you go and thicken that up area just thicken that up and if you were to draw like the uh, the pelvic region you get the, the pubic areas here and then you get your leg which is connected to the you can look at anatomy books or comics even and look at some artists some artists are really good with the anatomy you got muscle structure up in here you got her knee here I get you got tear duct those teardrop uh, leg muscles and since this is popped out it's gonna come down that way curve curve and as you can see I didn't put in her other this arm is a little long that's the beauty about digital you can fix it easier and you can you can still fix it traditionally you can do anything that I'm doing now traditionally you just gotta race so Let's put that gun. What are we gonna do with that gun? Yeah, I know. I know. Alright. So she's holding the gun right there. You know what? She's gonna be holding it with the barrel that way. There we go. That's better. He's got a big gun. Alright. Let's put that back in there. Alright, so. There you go, basic underdrawing female uh, heroine, you know, and now you can, I'll try to keep these videos shorter uh, than a half hour, we'll see if it works. Um, as you saw there, I reduced the opacity to 35% for myself, you can make it lighter, because your eyes are probably better than mine. And then I create a new layer to draw on top of it to refine things. Now I didn't really draw in her eyes, I'm going to make my nib smaller, my brush, whatever you want to call it. Because I'll do that as I go. Get those eyelashes in there. Pop it down. Corner the eyes. Get some more bottom eyelashes. There you go. And then the eyelid. And then get our pupil. And this is more of a three quarter type angle, so it's not going to be totally visible there. It's not going to be look the same as the other one. Get the eyelid. And I uh, pupil, oh. and your eye connects to your nose there. But you can go that route. You can go the um, J. Scott Cam or the uh, you know, the J. Scott Campbell route, where you just put in the indication of a nose and put some lines there. If you can see, there you go. Like Turner and Campbell, they did that a lot, where it wasn't really a full-on nose. They just made the indication of one it, it, it makes the women more feminine less features less lines more femininity so and give her some lips slight three-quarter view it's not I don't want to be that big there we go she's not too happy I want the bottom look bigger though I make a bigger so there you go so we'll take the underdrawing off. You can see that a little better. There you go. She looks cute. And then you get to put your eyebrow in. And with women, you could draw different kinds of eyebrows. You do that. You could do the classic, you know, Jim Lee dragon eyebrow. Uh, 
it. You can even do a, a full on just you know, block it up if you want. Maybe she doesn't pluck. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't wax her eyebrows. Uh, got that, some hair over here. Boom, boom, boom. Ears sticking out a little bit because her ears. I draw big ears. I like it. I like big ears. I like to draw big ears. Place some hair in there. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Cover her, her head a little bit with some more hair. Boom, boom, boom. Some straight, wavy type hair. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to put her... Got to frame her face. There you go. The chin is going to be right about in here. So we're going to delete that. There we, there we go. I like to do the underdrawing off and on, off and on, just to see how I'm going. Now, with women, you can do that and add a little cheekbone area. You can... There's many ways you could do that. She's got stronger cheek definition. You can give them a beauty mark. You know, you play around. You know, do it, do do it, do it. It's fun for you. You know, they give it a little indication of a depth there, which is a little line there. Boom, boom. And you could even do this. Add a little shadow lightly, if you want. And even like red up the nose with. It's not red, but it's. This is something that I do a lot. I like crosshatch parts of the nose. And then, boom, a little highlight there. It just, I don't know, it makes it pop a little more. I, I, I like that. I like that technique. I, I have been giving some beauty moles to them lately. Um, that that works pretty well. I like that. But I did like her with the strong cheekbone, too. But uh, oh, you saw me accidentally hit the wrong button there. So you got a straight, got to fix this area. Let's cover it up with more hair. Why not? And as you can see, I really didn't delete this area here. I didn't delete that. When, you know, it, it when you zoom out, it kind of adds shadow. It's not a far off line. It doesn't need to be perfect. Because if this were going into print, I mean, that'll make it look like it's got some sense of movement to it, even though it's a still standing object. You see, she looks kind of cute. Looks kind of cute. We're gonna actually do that. We're gonna give her a little little cheekbone area right there. Not bad. Some a nice little trick you could do too. And this is just getting involved into the face a little bit more. Like I said, I'm trying to make these shorter, but it's not working. You could totally darken up the top, the upper lip. You know, give her a little sass there. You can highlight up the bottom, add some lines, blah blah blah, add detail. If you want to go that route, so. And later on, the beauty about digital is her head might be too big, actually. So we'll find out as we go. So, but she's got a lot of hair. So, and this looks like her head is too too big. But, and I still put those clavicles in. Give it a little indication, because skinny people they have the clavicles. And see, I angled up the shoulder, and I brought it into the the bicep is here. The, the your uh, shoulder, your deltoid, it goes into your bicep. So you have that there. And so, it, but you don't want to draw too far in. She's not that bulky. You can, you can draw a bulky woman if you want to. And then tricep, slight definition, pop out that elbow because her hand is. I'll show you like, uh, I can show you, for, you know, short foreshortening later, uh, you know. And that's her elbow it's all shapes all shapes uh, once you learn shapes and get those those down in there uh, you can do a lot I mean you still have to know like um with a bicep and let's say okay let's say this is your bicep and this is your forearm all right, I'm draw. I'm just do. so you got that your your um forearm your bicep's going to come into your forearm here. So it looks like a triangle. Kind of looks like a triangle. So it all it all connects. It's all uniform. So, I mean, that comes from, like, looking at anatomy books or even, like, an artist sometimes. Uh, if they're good with their anatomy. I mean, I'm not the best, but see, her, her bicep's still going to come in there because that's still there. And then I usually end up fixing the hand later on once I put in that hip. So, and 
I draw a slight indication of that, the breast area there. There's a rib cage coming in because she's skinny. She has no organs. We don't like organs in comics. We fear them. We like, we like, like, we like big, bulky, strong men and and sexy, beautiful women. I mean, that's, that's what comic collectors like. And like I said, you don't want to totally... You know, you don't want to circle... You want to have circles for boobs. Ah, oh, that's why. Wait, that's resting on the rib cage there. It's resting on the rib cage there. Well, I mean, one th you can do the that with if she's got like a shirt on. Uh, you and you, it's not to say you can't, you know, perk them up. Like and then do this little trick with the shirt. And it, it, it makes it look like she's wearing, you know, like a, like a shirt, like a tighter shirt. There you go. Let's tighten it up. Tighten up that shirt. There you go. You wouldn't see that area. So you, you, could, you can do that. I mean, there's plenty of ways to go about it. There's no... Ah, I always do that. Because I use the lasso tool a lot. A lot. And as you can see, I kind of bulked her up a little bit too much, so we're going to thin that up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. That's better. So, I mean, you, I mean, you're getting the idea, you know. I like to pop out the rib cage. You know, give it that little Jim Lee look. Jim Lee will he'll often do this. He'll... he'll you know, draw shadow lines coming down, and then it'll darken this area here and here, and then boom, 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 detail, detail, detail. So, I mean, you get the idea. You get the idea. I don't think I really need to go too far into this. It ain't that big. You can be shrunken down maybe a little bit, but you know, I could give them hips. Hips don't quit. Get that hip bone. Give her a belt buckle. She's wearing pants. Maybe she's got them Daisy Dukes. She rolled up her. Like she's got like Laura Croft shorts on. So and you get the idea. This uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna go further too far into this. This video is already running longer than I anticipated. But uh, I mean, it, it's just a basic basic rundown uh, of how I would draw a woman. Now you can see I didn't. I could put in her lower, like I didn't do the, like let's say this is her, her leg, you know, you got your knee, and then calves, feet, and you could draw the duck feet, some people hate it, I mean, it's a foot, with the women's feet, you want to make them daintier, you don't want to make them as big, if she's wearing high heels, you know, you point it, you can still draw the foot, the basic of the foot, and then just conform the heel around to it, stuff like that. So, I mean, it, it's it's not that I can't draw feet. Don't think I'm Rob Liefeld. I mean, Rob Liefeld could draw feet too, but he just didn't do it that often. Ah, so she's got a gun. All right, so for just for, uh, I'll just do this real quick. There we go. Okay. So I mean, you get the basic idea. Like. Like said, this this area here needs work. You need to practice that area. The, the pelvic area is where I do struggle, uh, just because I do. But I mean, it's not it's not terrible. But like I said, that's the beauty about working digitally. It's easier to clean it. It's easier to get it get it right. I think I just yeah I just I just had that out too far as well. It was right. I just I think I did the drawing wrong on the over top of it. So, it, there you go. I mean, you get the basic idea. That's behind me. There. And so, yeah. She likes the frog. Ooh, there's a frog. Alright. Now I'm just playing. 
as you can see. Uh, basic quick-ish tutorial, so to speak, on how I go about drawing women. Now, women have different sizes and shapes, and y you... Let's see if I can't pop one out real quick. Let's do this. You know, you can you can have a woman with a bigger head. You know, she's got a wider body. You know, she's a robust woman. You know, I mean, it's play with proportions. You know, nothing wrong with changing up your sizes. You know. Like the Venus of Villendorf up in there, so you know you can have them have a have her have a longer face even. You know. Faces are uh, fun. Uh, once again, you want them to have all the same proportions. Mm. Like she's got a little bit of a longer face. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe she didn't have big boobs. Yeah, they have big boobs. She got big hips. You know. she got big hips. So, if I were um, Dan Plagle, uh, he draws women like no one's business, and uh, he does them quick, but he does them good. So, uh, maybe go check out uh, Boot Dan Art on YouTube. But yeah, I mean that's uh, that's the gist of it, you know. It's uh, it's it's once you get basic shapes down, uh, basic structures of that. You, you can play with form and perspectives and stuff like that. And, and, I mean, with perspective, it can get a little tough. Like, I could show you, like, my hand looks gigantic here. Like it looks, compared to my head, it looks insanely big. Uh, you know, it's not. I mean, it's it's re well, regular size, so to speak. So, it just, it's called forced perspective. It makes things look bigger. So, uh, that's something that I could show you some other day, if you want. If you want. Um, I might do, like, another quick video, uh, like a form of two minute four minute one uh, just a doodle uh my next one but if you like what you saw thank you for watching i appreciate it and um, hope it helps you a little bit uh like i said i'm not I'm not one of the pros but i do what i can uh and uh it, it, it just to show you that it, as an amateur i struggle too you know i draw comics i i, I publish i self publish and uh i struggle as well so it's okay to do that not everybody is innately talented at drawing a specific set of things so sometimes it takes me like four or five tries just to get that right pose but uh everyone go check out frog g frog g currently uh that's that's me inks pots and frog g uh on that comic uh currently in demand in indiegogo link will be in the description below i'll leave you with the trailer i hope you watch it animated by pedro ang voiced over by luke elliott that's a great trailer uh thank you once again for watching and as always have a great one We've all read the story. The brave hero conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress. But this is real life, and in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess sent on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero must roam the underworld to regain his humanity and win back the woman he